Hello. Um, today, I want to talk about a film that is uh, 50 years old this year. Um, it's uh, The Last Detail, starring Jack Nicholson as uh, Bedusky, who is a, a naval, uh, you know, he's a sailor, as is uh, uh, Otis, Otis Young playing... Uh, Mulhall. Um, both of them are taking a, another sailor to uh, prison for eight years because he was caught trying to steal from uh, steal money from a like a charity of forty bucks, and uh, it's played by uh, Randy Quaid. And uh, yeah, this is a film that you know. Is very it's a, it's a very underrated film you know it's not one of those films that's widely discussed a lot um, I mean every so often people will talk about it but for the most part it seems to be one of those that it came had a lot of acclaim and uh, some accolades Jack Nicholson was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Actor Randy Quaid was also nominated for Best Supporting Actor which I think will actually shock people that at one point in time, Randy Quaid was seen as a very serious actor. Because most people today uh, remember, know him best as Cousin Eddie from the Vacation films, as well as uh, uh, Russell from uh, Independence Day. You know, basically comedic relief characters. And, uh, and this film is a... a, a uh, comedy drama but I think for the most part it's more you know uh, serious than but there are comedic elements to it you know but um, this film also stars Clifton James as well as Carol Kane the film was also uh, nominated for adapted screenplay by uh, Robert Tao Town who uh, would probably be best known for writing Chinatown. Um, this film was directed by Hal Ashby, who uh, directed uh, Harold and Maud, as well as uh, Being There with Peter Sellers. Um, yeah, this, it basically, uh, uh, Badesky and uh, Millhall. Uh, you know, they, you know, as they're taking him, uh, 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 Meadows, that's a Randy Quaid's character's name, as they're taking him to jail from uh, Virginia to Maine, you know, they're basically, you know, uh, trying to give him as much of a good time as possible before, you know, he's going to prison for eight years or as... <laughs> Uh, Pedusky says, you know, it will probably be six because, you know, you'll probably take off two years right off the bat for good behavior. Um, um, and he's also getting a dishonorable discharge also as a result, um, which probably isn't surprising to anybody. But, you know, he, uh, they're trying to give him as good of a time as they can. Um, uh, you know, they, uh, get him his first uh drink you know uh, uh you know he's like 18 so he's not going to be able to obviously legally uh drink at that point um though it's interesting considering this was in the 70s and i do know because my mother grew up in the 70s where you know there was a thing where because of the vietnam war um uh soldiers were basically you know they advocated and they got uh it to where the legal age for drinking was uh, uh reduced to 18 and uh you know because the logic was you know if i'm going to fight for my country and potentially die i should be allowed to have a uh, have alcohol legally as well you know you can buy cigarettes you know you're fully uh, uh, looked at as an adult at 18 but you have to be 21 to uh, get alcohol legally. 
and uh, in the 70s also, or at some point that was reversed but some uh, people um, if they were born before a certain uh, date a certain year in particular I guess uh, you know they would be allowed to they're basically grandfathered in my mother was one of those uh, people you know you know technically she on one hand once she turned 18 it wasn't technically you know obviously you know she wasn't 21 clearly but because of the whole age thing when she was born and what the cutoff date was she was allowed to drink but it's interesting how that's a thing but this was also based off of a book of course so that is something also i think is important to note though this film does very much look like the 70s um which is not a bad thing you know made 72 came out 73 uh or it might have come out or it might have been made in 73 also but you know uh perhaps part of it um uh, depending on whenever it was released um but anyway they uh yeah they give him uh meadows a you know beer and also uh take him to like a, a whorehouse who uh where he can have sex uh for the first time and uh yeah they just try to give him as good of a time as they can until you know they get him to jail at which point when he does he comes in with a I guess spoiler alert, but he comes in with a big uh, gash in his head and bleeding because, you know, he tried to escape. He ran, and then they're given guns, and so he <laughs> dusky takes out a, his gun and loads it. And uh, they catch, catch up with Meadows, and Badusky beats him up while Bill Hall tries to get him off of him, and uh, yeah, it's just, uh, it's a very good film, honestly. You know, it's it's one of those films where, obviously, you kind of know how the ending is generally. I mean, they feel bad for him, but at, at the same time, it's like, he has to go to prison. And it's just everything in between, just from the moment they're assigned this job until the end, and just what all happens, it's just, it's... It's really cool how they all bond together, essentially, and just uh, uh, the chemistry between everybody is really good. Uh, the acting is fantastic, as is the writing. Uh, direction is good, too. Um, the music's really good, too. Uh, I don't know. This is an excellent film. It's just, it's one of those films where, you know, it deserves more attention. Um, you know, this uh, version, this 4K um, Blu-ray, also Blu-ray version, is from a Shout Fact, or technically it's Shout Select. And I have a poster over there that came with this. And, uh, yeah, this is a, just an excellent release, you know, excellent uh, presentation, 4K restoration, obviously for the... <laughs> 4k disc and then the blu-ray looks also the normal blu-ray looks excellent too but this has an introduction by filmmaker alexander payne which is interesting because right after it's over the film does not begin so that's kind of an odd thing but you know it also has a about a trip uh, which is uh, where alexander payne talks about his appreciation for this film and search for the truth which is a interview with the editor of the film and the trailer um yeah this is just a film that is uh really well made well done i just uh i don't know i could probably go on and on about this film it's just it's one of those films that i don't know i, I it's what it's just like it's uh, just re-watching this film was just fantastic i there's a lot that happens in this film that I haven't mentioned because, you know, for anybody who hasn't seen this, I don't want to completely spoil the film, even though I kind of give what the ending is. But considering how uh, the, the two of those, those guys are tasked to 
take the one to prison for uh, the crime, which, you know, at the end, it seems to be very petty. But, you know, there's a reason also why his sentence is as high as it is for something like that. Um, which uh, I will not say. You'll have to watch the film to uh, find out what that would be, what, uh, why that is. Be great if I could talk properly without any, uh, blah, 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 or if I could just spit it out. You know, sometimes that's a that'd be a great thing. But this is an excellent film. Great performance by Nicholson and everybody involved. Um, apparently, I've heard somewhere that uh, Nicholson thought this this was his uh, favorite film he did. Maybe his in his opinion, his best performance. I don't think this is his absolute uh, best performance. I think that's one for the cuckoo's nest, but this is definitely, uh, I would say, is definitely up there. Um, definitely top 10 or 5. I'd have to really uh, just look at all of his performances again. Uh, this could perhaps be maybe 3, but again, this is just me talking right now. Um... Chinatown, his performance in that might be higher than this, but, you know, Cuckoo's Nest is above that and everything else he's done. I just really love this film. This is a movie that deserves as much attention as possible. I think, you know, uh, Al Ashby used to, was a, uh, an editor before he became a, write, a director. You know, he's one of those few who went from editing to directing uh he has an academy award for direct uh, for editing um in the heat of the night uh while uh you know robert weiss won academy awards for directing and producing uh the musicals uh the west side story and i believe he also made uh the sound of music but he's another editor turned director um but yeah, this is a phenomenal film. Very underrated uh, in many ways. Um, performances are excellent. You know, can't really, uh, 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 I, I can't really say any more. I, I'd just be repeating myself. But this is an excellent film. Uh, the praise it, it received back in 1973, I think is well deserved. And I think also it is... Uh, Deserving as of just as much praise as uh, uh, it can. It's just a phenomenal film. Yeah, I uh, yeah. On the back here it says, uh, "This is a gem of a film," and Shout Select, in particular, really does its best to. Uh, acknowledge classics from cult favorites to unheralded uh, gems. Um, Shout Select celebrates the best in filmmaking and gives the best, uh, gives the movies the love and the attention they deserve. And uh, they definitely gave this the attention it deserves. Um, again, this is just a film that deserves to be seen. Um, you know, uh, who knows? Maybe the timing of the film perhaps could be a reason why, you know, these days it isn't uh, as talked about. You know, five easy pieces happened already at that point for Nicholson. And of course, Easy Rider, which was the film that, you know, broke out, broke him out and made him a star. Um, some other films he did, obviously, uh, before this. But, you know, this is a film that really uh, helped Harold and him um, getting certain other parts. You know, um, I think this helped him to some extent to get one for the Cuckoo's Nest. Also Chinatown, you know, like, like these, like certain films, you know, really showed his diverse diversity, you know, and... Um, 
him being a sailor who was, uh, well, you know, as it says here, a street tough sailor, and he's, uh, you know, you know, uh, yeah, he's just uh, trying to just, uh, you know, show him a, a Randy Quaid's character as good of a time as possible and also try to sort of like, I guess, tough him up if you did. You know, if you will. Uh, great film. If you haven't seen it, uh, I don't know exactly where this would uh, be streaming. Um, you're in America, but it's Canada. Uh, there's, you know, the Shout Factory uh, streaming service. You know, maybe it'll be there. Um, I know you can watch some stuff there for free, but then also you have to have a subscription um so i don't know i i would only guess that that could be a place that might be look uh, or to look for for this film at um maybe amazon has it i don't know um considering i have this on uh physical form i don't really necessarily need to run out on streaming myself but for Anybody who hasn't seen this film might not want to necessarily get the Blu-ray or the 4K Blu-ray, you know, combo. Um, I could see trying to seek this out streaming somewhere, give it a watch, see if this is something you'd like to own. Uh, yeah, I think this is an excellent film, though. In my opinion, it's worth owning, but again, that's just my opinion um yeah nothing more to really say otherwise i'll just be uh repeating myself and i think i've done that uh just enough already so i'll leave it there and i uh hope this video found you well in some regard uh i hope i wasn't really just uh uh just sort of talking in circles but you know, this is just one of those films that, you know, I know isn't really talked about much. Um, and so the, it's a film that deserves as much attention as possible. And so I thought, you know, it's 50 years old. Why not rewatch it and give my thoughts on the film? Overall, I obviously enjoy it. Uh, but yeah. If you've seen the film, what do you think? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? Why or why not? Um, have you seen it? Do you have any interest in it? Um, yeah. Anyway, I hope you're all doing well. Hope you're all having a great day and a, having a great weekend and a great week. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.